Wanting her identity to be concealed, gender violence survivor Dolores recounts how she went to the authorities on three different occasions to denounce the physical and psychological abuse she suffered from her then-partner. On each occasion, she was told that nothing can be done, and she was sent back home. They want to file the official complaint when they see that a woman is practically dying, that she is visibly very beaten. I think the authorities want these types of things for women. For the sake of her children, she sought help from the National Network of Refuges, a civil organization, and spent two months in one of their 44 centers. She, like other survivors such as Barbara, attribute Mexico's ever-growing gender violence to both systemic and cultural roots, pointing specifically to a process of unequal socialization that begins with toddlers. In my childhood, it was very different. In my childhood, my father never laid a hand on my mother. And one thinks that that is how life is going to be. But then, all that you have to go through, I don't know. Barbara and Dolores are among a minority of women who have been able to access the limited refuges. Although the network has attended to over 23,000 women and their children over the course of five years, according to official statistics, more than 42% of women above the age of 15 have suffered gender-based violence in Mexico. Yet Barbara underscores how invaluable this network is. They have supported me. They have taught me that one can value oneself as a single woman or a woman accompanied by two, three, or five children, that we can make it. According to Wendy Figueroa, national coordinator of the network, each year the authorities cut public spending on programs to prevent and sanction gender-based violence, yet she affirms the work of civil society organizations to empower women and re-educate them helps to fill the gap. There is a denaturalization process of providing information. We believe, and I in particular, that information gives one power. We begin to give them information on what is violence, to begin to rid the idea that it is natural, that it is justified, that it is the cross you were born to carry, because these are the ideas or stereotypes that we hear from them, and that is what they hear throughout their lives. Yet activists such as Figueroa say that if the issue of a 98% impunity rate amongst aggressors of gender-based violence is not tackled, then the alarming UN statistic of seven femicides a day in Mexico will only increase. Clayton Cantalasur, Mexico City.